Hi guys. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Top Info Gate. Please like, subscribe. Thanks today's our topic is 10 most beautiful countries in the world. Let's see number 10 country in our list. Number 10 Japan. Japan has been high on my bucket list ever since I was captivated by stories of samurai and ninjas in one of my favorite book series as a kid. Since then, I have only visited the country through television series, such as Queer Eye in Japan, and through speaking to Japanese students as part of my English tutoring, but there are many reasons why this country is so well liked. Japan has so much to offer tourists. Foodies flock to the country for its cuisine. You can stuff yourself with sushi, ramen, and all sorts of delightful Japanese goodies. Culture vultures will enjoy the old Japanese traditions and the opportunity to immerse themselves in traditional tea ceremonies. Snow lovers will find some of the best powder-filled mountains in the world in northern Japan. This year, in particular, the country will also play host to the Summer Olympic Games, although only those living in the country will be lucky enough to attend. There are so many reasons to sip on your sake rice wine, and consider a trip to Japan. Number 9 France. Living so close to France, I have visited several times and found unique experiences with each visit. My first trip was to Disneyland Paris at 5 years old. The next was a history-based school trip to Normandy to learn more about World War II. Halfway through university, I joined the varsity ski trip in the popular mountain resort of Val Thorens. And most recently, in 2018, I challenged myself to explore Paris on a solo trip for 36 hours. The great variety of my trips should attest to the diversity of what France has to offer, more than purely Eurocamp. France is considered a very romantic place for its capital city and its quiet rural villages. But there is more to France than that. It is a country for adventurers and those who enjoy the natural beauty. You can ski in the many mountain resorts in the south of the country in the winter, and come summer you can relax on the beaches on the southern coast. There are incredible spots like the Gorges du Verdun, which remind me of Thailand's scenery and there are times when you might wish to relax with a glass of wine overlooking a vineyard. There is much to see and do in this diverse country. Number 8 Iceland The other day I purchased a travel video course about how to road trip southern Iceland seeing as my fingers are crossed for a post-pandemic trip to the island. Recently, the country has hit the headlines after a volcano erupted close to its capital. In the northern hemisphere, at the meeting point of two major tectonic plates, Iceland is known for its volcanic nature and wintry weather. It is no wonder that it is fondly called, the land of fire and ice. After an exponential explosion of interest in visiting Iceland since the 2010s, due to a range of factors, including economics and the country's Instagram-worthy beauty, this place sits high on many people's bucket lists. It is recommended to rent a car or van and tour the sheer, wild beauty Iceland offers. And then, in the evening, you can chill out in a natural thermal bath. That sounds like my idea of perfection. Number 7 The USA, being the third largest country in the world, sitting at over 9 million square kilometers, it is no wonder that the USA provides travelers with such a vast range of options. From the Berkshires fairy tale natural beauty to the towering trees of the redwoods, the infamous surfing waves of Hawaii, and the moon like rock formations of Utah. There truly is something for everyone if you're willing to explore widely enough. 
I've had the opportunity to visit several major cities, Chicago, Washington DC, and New York, but I am keen to go beyond these typical spots in the future. A great way to truly immerse yourself in the country is to go on an all-American road trip, which I dream of doing one day. Number 6 Norway Out of all the countries on my list, Norway is the lowest on my radar. All that I know is that it plays host to the incredible fjords, narrow rivers with steep, high cliffs on either side. The pictures of the fjords are unlikely to do the scenery justice, but it looks breathtaking. After some research into the country, it seems that Norway is one of the world's happiest countries, which might seem strange for a country with extended periods of darkness during winter. This country is also incredibly wild. The sun doesn't set in summer, the northern lights are viewable in winter, and you might even spot polar bears if you're lucky. It sure does sound like an incredible place to visit. Please like, subscribe, and tell us in the comment which topic you want to see next. Number 5 Canada. In the early days of the pandemic, I video called one of my Canadian friends, and we made vague plans that I should visit. Just last week, she joked that we might have to move those plans back to 2025. My fingers are crossed for some time sooner. But in the meantime, I can stare in awe at the incredible scenery of the second largest country in the world. Canada is known as a playground for adventurers with its stunning mountain vistas and turquoise lakes. In the summer, you can hike the country to your heart's delight, and in the winter, you can enjoy beautiful pistes, including the world-renowned Whistler and beautiful Banff. Vancouver even played host to the Winter Olympics back in 2010. Number 4 Greece. I remember visiting the island of Crete back in 2006, after a year of learning about Greek history and myths. My father and I explored the fabled labyrinths of the Minotaur on a sweltering hot day before heading back to the hotel resort that we were staying at with my mother and brother. I wish we hadn't stayed within the confines of the hotel boundaries because Greece has some incredible beaches if you just take that extra effort to explore. In Greece you can frolic, carefree, soaked up in sun and adventure. You can island hop in between chowing down on Mediterranean salads and sipping at cocktails while enjoying the sandy beaches and clear waters. Besides this, some stunning towns and villages are dressed to impress, several of which dress only in white. Number 3 United Kingdom. In previous years, the individual nations of the UK were separated into different countries, which led to Scotland being crowned the most beautiful country in the world in 2017. However, now the four nations are combined, and this year they have won a bronze medal. As a UK citizen, I am proud that my country has made it so high on the list. After being stuck at home for a year due to the pandemic, I finally appreciate the bountiful beauty that this country has to offer, so I wholeheartedly agree with its placing. If you look beyond London, the small isles of the UK can offer a wealth of history, from stately homes to castle ruins, stunning scenery, rolling green hills to wild beach dunes, and a diverse range of cities, towns, and villages to satisfy a range of travelers. Number 2 New Zealand. After falling in love with the Lord of the Rings films when I was just five years old, visiting Middle Earth in real life was a dream of mine. In the summer between completing secondary school and starting university, my family and I planned a road trip around North Island, 
and it was one of the most incredible places I've ever visited. New Zealand caters very well to tourists with so many attractions to fill your time in each destination. The main attraction for each is to enjoy the awe inspiring surroundings. It is no surprise that such a classic film was made here. Number 1 Italy. My first visit to Italy was purely accidental. In search of cheap flights to Slovenia, Skyscanner suggested that I go via Trieste, just a two hour car ride from Slovenia's capital. I ended up choosing that route, which happened to be the cheapest option, and I was glad to finally tick the country off. Since then, I have visited a friend in the old town of Treviso, where I also made a day trip to the infamous Venice and visited a friend in rural Pescara. I have heard of people who spend an entire month enjoying Italy's splendors while interrailing to different cities. It is no surprise as this boot shaped country truly encapsulates such a diamond of a country. Top spots include Cinque de Terra, Lake Garda, the fashion capital of Milan, the Tower of Pisa, the floating city of Venice, and the ancient history of Rome. The country is so dreamy and romantic. And the cuisine is so comforting. I'm not surprised that Italy came out on top. It truly is a beautiful place. So, what do you think of this result? Is there a country that you believe should be within the top 10? And do you think that Italy is worthy of the top spot? Let me know your opinions in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and tell us in the comment which topic you want to see next.